I got stuff for y'all. Kozumi Sock, continue, dog. Many people have been using oh. Nintendo Switch Online since it launched its... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Nintendo 64 games. Like, the worst kept secret in recent history about a thing you're gonna do. We'll just fast forward through this. Yeah, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Emerald Hill Zone. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I wish I had something to say about this. I don't. You want to know why? Because I have no idea how much the hell this is going to cost. I am part of a family plan. I just want to know how this how this affects me, the person who runs family plan. Continue, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. We're going to come back to this literally in part two of the, you know, Japanese. We're going to fast forward through the joint, but... Super Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, Star Fox 64, Yoshi Story, um, that Zelda game. I don't know the name of because I don't know the name of Ocarina of Time. I really thought that joke was going to hit differently coming out of my mouth and it did not. Went back because, you know, um, it's Koei, so went back. I guess that's why they're here. Mario Tennis, which is going to be weird unless... And key word this, unless they do what they have done with the Nintendo and Super Nintendo game where they got the stuff where it unlocks all the Game Boy Color shit. Like, if it does that, that'll be dope as hell. Do that, please. Because I, cause, cause I don't know if that's going to be in here, but I think it is, and we'll take a look at that. Dr. Mario 64, I'm like, if I want to play Dr. Mario 64, you know what Uncle Triple does? He pulls out a fucking GameCube or a fucking Wii because you can play that game on there as part of the Nintendo Puzzle Collection. We'll get into that another time. And of course, one of the greatest games of all time, sitting in motherfucking punishment, bitch. It's still a missed opportunity that that game did not get re-released with Wii controls. Sin and Punishment Star Success is probably the best game on the Wii. I, I don't want to hear no arguments unless you're talking about No More Heroes 1. If, if you're not really talking about that, I can't look with you. But Sin and Punishment Star Success is still in the year 2021 a must play. You guys are going to sit up here and like if you've never played Successor to the Earth before, you are in for a treat. And given what we're going to see next, I really think that is the, probably the best possible way you can experience that. But please continue. Oh, wow. You'll be able to... Castlevania Bloodlines, Contra Hardcore, Dr. Robotnik's Main Beam Machine, Echo the Dolphin, Golden Axe, Gunstar Heroes, Musha. We're going to literally get into that when we take a look at um at the East Side joint. Um, Fantasy Star 4. Je well, we're going to talk about that. Remind me. R Rise Star. Remind me to talk about that when we talk about the Japanese version. Um, Shining Force, Shinobi 3, Sonic 2, Streets of Rage 2, and Strider for some reason. I guess if you're gonna have a, a Capcom game, uh, Strider, you know, I, I'm like, I, I would have assumed, me, if you're gonna have the the game, you would have Mega Man the Wily Wars. That just seems like the thing that makes sense to me, but I guess if you want to play Strider, that's fine, but I really think we should get to a point where the RK archives just have a version of Strider, because that's the only version you should play that's not on a PlayStation 1. So there's all of that. So, note to self, talk about Rise Star because it's important because there are differences between the American and the Japanese version. One of these days, I'll get to address the internet properly about Dynamite Heading. We'll do that. It's important that we do. Also, note to self, Musha. That's very important for reasons for games that I should really talk about in a new episode of Smut Game Proper. Cool. So, there are all of these games. Um... One of these games is technically in a Japanese version. We're literally going to talk about that when we get over there. It should be very obvious which game it is. Um, given, like, because I'm, cause I'm here, given what this is, I'm like, I'm thinking about the Sega Genesis Mini and how um, we got ripped off because we didn't get Alien Soldier. But I'm not going to get into that right now. Not gonna get into how the Asian version of the damn machine got alien soldier, and it's kind of like it's just me rolling my eyes because fuck that. Anyway, 
Anyway, we're gonna leave this now. Gotta get to the Japanese joint, so it is what it is. Continue adding more Nintendo Switch. Mazora's Mask. So, in other news, if they also do the joint for Mario Golf, that'll be dope as hell. Genesis games. Pokemon Snap, F Zero X, Kirby sixty four, Paper Mario. I love how they. I, I like. I was wilding when they just slipped in like, yo. Banjo Kazooie, my nigga. I'm like, bruh. But see, here's the thing about Banjo Kazooie that I find kind of weird, though. But I appreciate, but kind of still have questions about. I wonder why, through all this hoopla, that Xbox and Nintendo, they best buddies, why didn't they bring the, the HD remix versions over to the Switch as a thing? I wanted that, and this is probably literally why, because you can play original Banjo Kazooie. So I guess we can expect more rare games. So I'm guessing everything else rare related, you know, that's not Donkey Kong 64, mainly being Jet for Jim Lab Velez Bay. We're gonna we gonna do that, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. So it'll be interesting. Cannot wait to take a look at the other side of this because we have literally something to talk about there. But whatever. Huh. From their original releases. Mm -hmm. $50 for a controller, Nintendo. Are you motherfucking serious? Well, they are, because they literally put this price on the fucking screen. They're really serious here. See, I always wanted to get one of those Super Nintendo controllers, because I really think that it would make a great actual Bluetooth controller, because I think you can use it that way. The Nintendo controllers kind of add, because they're not the dog bone joints, but there are literally ways you can use a, a an original NES controller on a Switch. They literally have things for that. That Nintendo 64 controller is going to be a little hard for some people in the year 2021 who did not grow up in that era to wrap the kid head around, right? But understanding and given the next evolution of that controller being one of the most important controllers to a certain game that we will talk about in a couple of days from now, I get it. It's like, I'm someone who appreciates the Nintendo 64 controller for the mid, because the thing is, it's everything, but it's nothing, but it's everything. So it's like, I'm kind, I've always been kind of there with this controller is everything, but it's nothing, but it's everything. And that's always been my literal honest thought. So much I had to repeat it twice. I wonder like what the hell this is literally going to be like, what's next? Like. The only logical thing they could really do is sell you Turbo Graphics 16 games again because that's literally the only logical thing going backwards you could do with enough library to sustain it that's not going forward into GameCube territory. So that's really why I'm like literally give it a year. We're going to have a direct and they'll be like, yo, here is a Turbo Graphics 16 controller. We're going to charge you a million dollars for it because we're Nintendo and we can't. What you going to do? Nothing. It is what it is. Oh, that other thing? Why is it not a six button? Because, see, y'all going to come back to me and be like, yo, this week on the Sega Genesis joint, you can sit up here and play three button Street Fighter 2 and I ain't trying to do that? No. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm like, I can't even pause the game with the damn controller. I, I can't. So, no. This should have been a six button. But here's the other thing, though. You can use those 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 remake retro bit controllers on a damn Switch with not a lot of work. So I understand the purpose. But a lot of third-party things have already done this. But it's still novel to see Nintendo selling you a Sega Genesis controller. If, if, if I could go back to 1993... Like, 19-year-old Terrence, and look at him and be like, yo, in the year 2021, dog, Nintendo gonna sell you a Genesis controller. I would look at myself and be like, nigga, are you kidding me? And be like, okay, fine, but I don't know. This, this is like, this is kind of a little bit weird to wrap my head around, but I appreciate that this is a thing. I do. I, I totally appreciate this is a thing. Let me get adjusted. So, I think I've said enough. We're done here. Um, 50 bucks for a controller. The thing is, Actually, I'm going to literally look at that. I'm not going to show y'all, but let me see something real quick. Because how much is the package 
because I'm looking right now. I'm looking right now, hold on, because I want to see something, because I don't know whether or not they had stock. Um, let me see. Thank you. I'm not. I'm not gonna pull up. I'm not gonna pull up on Big Cuz because I. Just, I just want to know. We were here, so I just want to know, like, if they're in stock. They. They are total. Well, they are totally not in stock right now because they were in stock a while back. But yeah, the Super Nintendo controller sold by itself is thirty, right? Um, you can buy two NES controllers for sixty bucks. So one controller for fifty dollars. That's a tough pill to swallow. That is literally a tough pill to swallow, but people gonna pay for it. But again, because, and I'm gonna say this live, just repeat it for the hood. There are third party alternatives that already do this and more. But again, it is novel to see Nintendo on a Sega Genesis thing. That is crazy as fuck to me. Old ass Uncle Triple. That's like mind blowing to be like, huh, the fuck, bro? Like, I don't know what else they're gonna do. I don't really think we're gonna be getting to too many territories. I don't. I don't think your your, your Dreamcast Two is gonna be on the Switch. I don't really think y'all should be thinking like that. But like I said, Turbo Graphics Sixteen, that that's probably a slam dunk guarantee that a Turbo Graphics Sixteen, maybe. And I say this maybe, Nintendo may try to sell you a Neo Geo controller. Maybe. The only way that works is also they have. MVS, AES, and CD game because all those games function somewhere differently depending on the version and the game thereof. So, Turbo Graphics 16 and Neo Geo within the next two years. If they haven't moved on from the Switch or did some dumb thing at this point to make us buy something new. But we'll see. Anywho, please continue. Available for purchase by Uh huh. Play with Mario's nose, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they show different footage. They show a different footage for the Mega Drive stuff. Because they're Strider, because, you know, it's Strider. That's more um, fancy stuff. Um, This will be important in two seconds, just to let you know. Um, the same exact games offered over over here or being offered over there. So, just so you know. No, actually, there's a game missing. There's a game missing because what? Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, Star Fox 64, Yoshi Story, Ocarina of Time, Win Back. Mario Tennis, Mario Tennis, and Sin and Punishment. What game was on the other side? We're going back to the other video. I think it saves my spot when I do this. Let me double check and see. Um, there's an option for it. If not, I, I, we'll fast forward back to this because, you know, stuff and things. Give me a second. Dude, we, we just going to go back to the word. Ah, bandana! Ah, squids or kids? Look, movie. Um, yeah, Delta Room. That's the thing. Uh huh. Well, yeah, yeah. We're gonna talk about that later. Uh huh. Yeah, blah blah blah. blah. What? Doctor, Doctor Mario sixty four was the game that was missing. Okay. I had no idea Dr. Mario 64 never came out in Japan. You know what? Wiki. Because fuck this. Because I want to know. Dr. Mario 64. So, that's weird. Literally, this game only came out in America. That's weird. In China. In China. In China. But then they got it in the Nintendo Puzzle Collection. That is weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, that's weird. I had no idea. But I guess that's why the... But that's why I guess the Nintendo Puzzle Collection makes sense as a Japanese exclusive. Okay, you learn something new every day. So, um... We're going to get back to where the hell we just were. 
Okay, cool. Right, right back to where we were. So, go to next Strider. Um, John Madden, you want to get in here, Doc? Want to get in here? Want to get? Want to get the work on? Um, we're at John Madden to show up. We got word up. Um, that game Musha that we saw. A less day. That's what that is. Just so you know. Shining Force. Starting to Dr. Robot and Mean Beam Machine starting R like, you know what I'm saying? AKA uh, Puyo Puyo 2. Streets of Rage 2. Bare Knuckle 2. The Super Shinobi 2. Echo the Dolphin. Gunstar Heroes. Fantasy Star 4. Um, Castlevania Bloodlines as Vampire Killer. Um, Contra the Hardcore. And the Japanese version of Ristar that you should actually play. See? I remembered all that stuff we were supposed to go over, right? So, yeah. You know what? Episode of Smug Game proper. I need money so that I can buy those the less collection that now cost $500 on fucking eBay. That should be fun to explain to my wife that I'm going to buy a $500 video game. I'm only going to buy a, then buy a digital copy of and then, you know, never open it. But, hey, whatever. I, I, I love her. She deals with my shit, and I appreciate that more than anyone else. Anyway, um, let's get out of here, though. So, let's see if it's is it anything different. They put Banjo-Kazooie in the front. They just kind of like, well, it's here. Golf, Kirby, F-Zero, Pokemon Snap. Oh, that's something we're not getting early on. We're not getting Paper Mario 1? Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Just, just so we here now. You old news. I got a couple with the custom Robo and custom Robo V2. You should play custom Robo on the GameCube. But again, the the most important thing is if you have a Japanese account and you have a thing on your Switch, you can get access to these games too, so you're not left out. So just create you a Japanese account if you have it and play some custom Robo. Damn it! So it is what it is. So whatever the hell that comes out. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Are you serious, Nintendo, with this shit? Really now? Really? Really? I ain't even noticed this when I fast forward through it because I ain't even watched this part for real. I only watched it the part to know what games they were so that I can remember what they were for the sake of this video so I didn't have to take notes. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The mega, the, 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 they get the six button and we don't fail? Oh, bruh. I'm upset. I'm, I'm Drake levels of upset right now because the fuck, the fuck, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, no. Somebody going to find a way to import. I got to find a way to import this motherfucker. I got to because uh-uh. No, 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 let me on place. No, 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 I don't know how to feel about this. I literally have no idea how to take my feelings and compartmentalize them into words. I don't know, because this is fucked up. This is fucked up. And I'm just like, nah, fam, really? But yeah, people gonna find a way to, I'm like, I, I like, how would you import this motherfucker? How? Like, the steps you would have to go through if you don't know nobody directly in Japan with a Nintendo Switch account because the thing is, they limit you to how many of these motherfuckers you can buy. This is going to be insane. Why? Would they give us a three button, but give them a six button? Because, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm here for this. I'm here for this shit. Fuck with me. Give me a second. Because, okay. I am looking at this. The only game. The only game in this list that technically uses a six-button controller is the Super Shinobi 2, and you have to have a code to do it. What the fuck is this? Like, why? Why? You know what? I don't believe 
we're literally finna go literally now I done took off the headphones because I don't need them because all you need to do is hear my voice because I had to get the cans off because I got to know something. I got to know something. I got to know something. I, I, I got to know because let's see. Um, If y'all give me a second, we're we, we going to have a little fun. We're we, we going to have a little fun with this right here. Um... Well, actually, I probably don't have to do that. Let me see. I mean, because I might not have to even have to do the thing I said I thought I was going to do. Let me see if, if, if it lets me. It's not, I don't think. It's not. Let me see. Because I'm trying, I'm trying, because at this point, let me tell you what I'm trying to do. I am trying to find the Nintendo Direct for Europe now. Because. I want to know, and I want to know this information. Let me see. Give me a, give me a second. Um, um, get your cousin in, cause, cause we're here for this. I didn't think we needed to do this. I, I, I like usually I don't watch the Europe shit, cause it's the same exact shit as the America shit. But this, this, come on with this. Come on, this. Just no, just just no, just no, no, no. Okay, so, what the hell? Oh, this must be the European countdown. Cool. Um, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Blah blah blah. Okay, uh huh. For liberty. Super Rush. I love how the games. Are ordered differently. It's the same shit. It's ordered differently. Fucking why? These are not none of this stuff. Not a pal box art to be fucking seen. But uh, uh, okay. Um, they got the pal box art. You know, while at war, you know you love that shit. You know what I'm saying Operation Motherfucking Went Back, you bitches. Okay, uh huh. Yeah, get to the point here. What the fuck? Are you shitting me? You know what? Nah, no, no. Get, get, get back to me. Um, big cuz, thank you. We're gonna see more of her later in them other in one of the other joints. Maybe two of them. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Put the cans back on, please. Um, um I need some water. Yeah, y'all don't mind, right? Yeah, y'all don't mind. Thank you. Press that button, make me full screen again. Give me a second. Dear Nintendo, you gotta be shitting me, bro. You gotta be shitting me, my nigga. Really? Japan get a six button? And there are literally no games that use it other than the one that you have to access a code for. And we get three buttons because you dirty guys and ass motherfuckers. I'm like, bro, I am hella done here. I am hella done. Extra fucking done. Swear to God on the hood, done. Fuck this, done. Just done, bro. No, 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 no. I, 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 I'm mad. I have every right to be. I'm gonna find a way. I'm like now. I gotta get one of them six buttons out of fucking spite now. See, before it was, you know, shit happens. No, out of fucking spite on my mama, on my auntie. Fuck y'all. That's some bullshit. Kiss my ass. Kiss my whole ass. No, this is fucked up and wrong. And well, uh, um, never mind. But you want to know something that I just remember? It was the same thing for the Sega Mega Drive Mini, now that I think about it. The Sega Mega Drive Mini also came with six button controllers. By default. So this is just a Japan thing. Because in America and in Europe, you could buy a six button city, but it came with three button controllers. Even though there were games in their collection that used the six buttons. Not for the getting to that. So I've done having this moment. You may continue. Mm -hmm.